Hey guys, how's it going? So I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit today regarding taking the initiative in nursing school and exactly how important that actually is. Uh, I just finished up playing a little bit of basketball. I uh, haven't really touched the basketball since senior year of high school, so I'm a little sweaty. <laughs> you know, not exactly in the best of shape as of right now, but um, I played varsity basketball my senior year of high school. Uh, wasn't really good enough to start, wasn't really good enough to play that much, but I was good enough to make the team, so that must mean something, right? Uh, so to get back to what I wanted to talk to you, talk to you guys about, taking the initiative. Um, you know, this is a quality that is going to be advantageous to you both in your academic career and your working career. You know, being an individual that does things when people don't ask them to, or does things before people have to ask them to, is an amazing quality to have. And um, it's something that you're going to have to have throughout nursing school, you guys. Um, I'll give you an example. Throughout the first semester, many of us have never been introduced to the hospital setting, let alone talking to patients. So you're a little apprehensive about it, you know, your first time being in the hospital. And um, I remember a week before my first hospital day, I took the initiative and reviewed some pharmacology notes and kind of reviewed some, you know, common medications that are seen throughout the hospital. That way, I was aware of everything. And, and if someone was to ask me, say, my clinical professor, I knew the information. If they were to ask me what a specific drug was, boom, I knew it, you know. And that looks really good on your, on, on your part. It means that you took the initiative and did things when no one really asked you to do it. Um, especially, you know, going and talking to patients. You know, patients are going to ask you, hey, you know, I have hypertension and a doc prescribed me this medication. I don't know exactly how it helps my hypertension. Well, you know, what's, what's the medication? Oh, he has me on lisinopril. Oh, well, you know, it's an antihypertensive, um, more commonly known as an ACE inhibitor that is used to inhibit angiotensin 1 from being converted into angiotensin 2 via the lungs. And this is basically just a fancy way of saying angiotensin 2 is a very potent vasoconstrictor. If you want your blood vessels to be more dilated rather than vasoconstrict, which is going to inevitably increase your blood pressure, you're going to keep taking this medication and that's going to dilate your blood vessels and allow your blood pressure to be decreased. You know, these are, this is all information that you can tell your patient simply due to the fact that you took the initiative a week before and reviewed some of your pharmacology notes. Now, a lot of the stuff you guys are going to remember from your actual class, you know, but there are some medications that you're going to forget and freshing up, or, you know, refreshing your memory with some of this stuff is always going to be a benefit to you. Um, you know, and not only can you guys use taking the initiative throughout nursing school, but you can use it in life, okay? You know, before going to see your primary healthcare provider and them telling them or them telling you that you have hypertension, you're going to take the initiative before someone even has to tell you that, right? You're going to be active throughout your life. You're going to keep running, keep playing basketball in your off, your off time. You're going to do all these sort of activities that prevent diabetes mellitus, hypertension, um, cardiac disease, all these things, right? You're going to take the initiative on your health. You're going to take the initiative on applying to medical school. You know, you're going to apply early. You're going to get your applications out there before everyone else does, right? To make yourself a more competitive and applicable applicant, right? So taking the initiative is an amazing quality that will behoove you throughout your entire life, not just nursing school. I'm sorry, guys. The video is really dark right now. I'm outside. Um, let me start the video when I get in my car. All right, so I decided not to record in my car. Um, it was extremely dark. I feel as if every single time I get an idea to make a video about, it's at a time in which the lighting is extremely poor. But this is even better because I wanted to give you guys an example. So taking the initiative, right? That's what we were talking about. Um, I don't graduate, this is extremely bright. I do not graduate until December, which means I don't take my boards until December, maybe early January, because I'll probably study for about a month for it. But I am taking the initiative and I've already started studying for my board exam. So I have the Saunders uh, NCLEX RN examination review book. Um, heard a lot of good things about this book, so I've already started reading a little bit at a time. Um, my summer class is finished in about three weeks, and from the time my summer class ends to the time my first day of my last semester begins is about a month. So I have about a month to study and take the initiative on things in preparation for my board exam. So um, that's pretty much it, guys. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys talking about specific qualities that will behoove you in nursing school and in life. Um, take the initiative on things. Study before someone tells you to. Work on a project before someone tells you to. You know, Review some pharmacology even though no one asked you to. And uh, you'll do well in nursing school. I'll see you in the next video.